So welcome to another super interesting hacker rank challenge and this is called tree top view. Given a pointer to the root of a binary tree, print the top view of the binary tree, the tree as seen from the top, from the nodes, from the top nodes is called the top view. So they give an example here, but I'd like to use the example I have here in my uh, whiteboard. So given a top view, you want to print out the, uh, the nodes that are seen by the top without the nodes that are overshadowed by uh, the top nodes. So in this case, so the top view here is going to be D, B, A, C, G, and J. So this will be the top view, okay? The reason is because all these internal nodes are overshadowed by the nodes on top, right? Good. Okay, so let's see how it plays out in code. And before we write the code, let's now look, let's look at the algorithm on how it works. First, you need to store three, three different pieces of information for each node. One, the root, that is the data, let's call it the root. Then you have to store the level and the height. So we are going to store three things. One, the, we, have it, we need a data structure that's going to hold three items, the root, the level, and the height. So we call the H the height, and this is going to be our key. And we also need the root, which is the value, and we also need the level L. So we need a dictionary that stores key like this, and then two values as a list like this. And that's going to be a dictionary in Python. Let's run this algorithm and let me just show you exactly what is happening here. So let's assume we have this dictionary right here. We have the dictionary right here. The key, as I mentioned, is going to be the height. And we are going to store the roots or the root value and also the level. So the level is given to us. This is level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and so on. And the height of each node, we have height 0, height minus 1, height 1. So anytime you are moving from one node to the, to the left, the height is going to be the height of the parent minus 1. If you are moving from B to D, D is going to have a height of minus 2. If you are moving from B to E, E is going to have a height of minus 1 plus 1 because you are moving to the right. So it's going to have a height of 0. If you are moving from C to G, it's going to have a height of 1 plus 1, 2. Moving to this place, we have 1 minus 1. That is, is going to give us 0. And this is minus 1 and so on. All right, so now we need to start iterating this node, uh, this, uh, this tree. So the first thing we want to do is we are given the root. Is the root is at height 0. And the root value is A. And the level is level 0. Now, if we are moving to the right, we have B, which is minus 1. We're going to check if it's already there, it's not there. So we're going to add it B at level what? At level 1. We're going to check D. D is at height of minus 2, and the root is uh, D, right? The root is D, and the level for D is what? 0, 1, 2 is going to be 2. If we are moving on this direction, okay, let's check E. E is at a, uh, at a height of 0, but 0 is already there, so we can't add it. We have to skip E because we already have the height there. So we are going to C. C is at a height of 1. 1 is not there, so we add it and add the level, which is level 1. And we move to F. F is at height of 0. It's already there. We're going to skip it. F, uh, E is at height of minus 1. Minus 1 is already there, we're going to skip it. Now, G is at a height of 2. 2 is not there, so we're going to write it there. And we're also going to write um, G and a level of 2. And let's check H. H, we have, this is 1, 2, 3. All right, so H is at a height of 1. 1 is already there, so we don't add it. L is at a height of 2. 2 is already there, we don't add it. And J is at a height of what? A height of 3 and height of 3 is not there so we have to add it H. Is it H or J? Sorry. So it's gonna be J here. Okay? J. And we have 
uh, a level of three. At this time, we've completely iterated this place. Now, there's something else I want to explain to you. There is some time you may have a height that is already there at a different level. So, for instance, if you have to, if you have this height of minus one, or uh, going this way, you might have a height go this way. You may have a height that is already there, but it's at a different level that is much bigger, that is bigger than the existing level. In that case, you have to overwrite what is there. So in this case, uh, I don't see any example to use, but I'm going to show you in code how it plays out. So let's go to write this code now in Python and let's see what happens. So I'm going to scroll down. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to write a function that is going to basically uh, iterate this list. So let me call this function traverse. Let me call it traverse. So I'm going to say def traverse. That's the name of this function. And it's simply going to take the root and it's going to take the, it's going to take the root, it's going to take the, the height and also the level L. So let's call it H and L, okay? Now, the first thing we want to do here, uh, sorry, we need a dictionary first. So let's initialize our dictionary to be D is equal to an empty dictionary for now. So the first thing we want to do is to check if there is something in the root. So I'm going to check if there is something in the root. If there is something in the root, we are going to check whether it is in the diction it's in the dictionary. So the first time we are checking, the zero is not in the dictionary. So we are going to check if this if the, 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 the key, if the height is already in the dictionary, okay, because this is the height we have here, I'm going to explain how I, uh, recursion works here. So if the height we are given is not in dictionary, then we are going to add it to the dictionary. So I'm going to say dictionary of the height, dictionary of the height, because this is the height we have here, right? There's a key. The H is H is our key. Dictionary for the height is equal to the list. Is equal to so we're gonna use a quality sign here. Is equal to the root, which is a value, and the level, right? So that's what exactly what we did here. The root and the level. Okay, we are going to say else if H. Yeah. So in this case, now we are also going to check. If the, 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 the item is in the dictionary, the height is in the dictionary, but it's at a level, uh, a higher level, right? So if item is in the dictionary, but it's at a higher level, uh, so I'm going to do this check like this, else if, else if uh, dictionary of at the level, so they have uh, dictionary of the uh, H of le the level is uh, index one is greater than the current level, which is L. So what we are saying is that if if we have something here, for instance, we have something here, okay, and we have the level here to be greater than the current level. We simply we are simply going to overwrite whatever is there. So that is this check uh, that is done right here. So I'm going to now say d of the height equals the root and l as well. Okay. So at this point, we are simply going to we've done this for the root. We are going to recursively do it for the left and for the right. So when I call this function for the for the left, so I'm going to say root dot left for the left subtree. The key now will be the key minus one because the key is the key of the root, which is actually uh, h minus one, which is the height of the root, and level is going to be level plus one. Okay. All right. So we are going to do exactly the same thing for the right subtree. So I'm going to traverse. So in case of the right subtree, it's going to be root dot right, and in this case, h is going to be the height plus one because we are moving to the right. So it's going to be the right plus one, and the level is going to increase by one as well. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now 
is to simply call this function using the root. So I'm going to call this function and pass it the root, the, the root we are given, which is actually the tree, the root node of this tree. Let me just make some room here. And we are going to give it a height of zero and a level of zero. Initial level and initial height is zero. Now, for us to print all this correctly, we are going to arrange it, uh, sort this dictionary in increasing order or non-descending order. So it's going to be minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. Uh, items here is going to be, so it's going to be D. For minus one, we have B, we have zero, we have A, one, we have C, and two, we have G and J. So this is exactly what we have right here. Okay, so we need to sort our dictionary before we actually print. So I'm going to say for, for H in sorted D. Actually, uh, I can actually sort D. I can say uh, D is equal to sorted D. All right, so I actually, I actually sort my dictionary in this way. So I can simply say for H in D, and I'm going to simply print out the, the roots, right? So because, uh, yeah, so we are going to print out the roots, which is at, at H of one, right? H one, H zero, H one. So it's going to be H zero. Yeah, I'm sure you understand it because the root is at index zero, zero of the key H. So I'm going to say print and I'm going to say D H of zero and I'm going to give uh, the separator to be and is equal to space because we want us to print it uh, in one line of space separated values. So I'm running again now, let's see what we have. Okay, so it works this time. So basically, I have to sort this, uh, sort this uh, dictionary in place. I'm going to submit this code and let's see if it passes all the test cases. And you can see it passes all the test cases right now. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if this has been informative for you. And also leave me a comment if you also uh, have something you would like to let me know. I remain kind to the genius and we we'll see you in the next nice part.